Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You leave. Preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowning victims can hear that. Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. its place. I know how you feel, believe me. Where to now? Up? Yes, it's not far now. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. in the beard. Clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. 
Early stages, no sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his ribcage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin, an incision, but the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Open the abdominal cavity. A due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Just like Priscilla's. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems, very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. No apologies, we surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm-hmm. And a different sense of humor. All right, think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. Some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. 
Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends? Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Mm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I've nothing to hide. It's just an old wound. Unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him. Alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. My daddy's a witch hunter and chased his old crows. Perhaps that new queen will come and... Why so glum? The old hag holding out on you. These bandits can't well, go out in the streets no more! Okay. At least my father didn't used to kill women. Are you Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? <laughs> Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. 
One of them. So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of that. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Whoa. I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. you find on him? Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I wipe off the right inner cell as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. Will you get those shankers in the box? Maybe. Gods. Oh, Lady, oh. what happened here? Monsters You're must have lost it. Oh, oh, come here, hero. Give us a kiss. I've had enough of living. Time on fire. Fire trouble. Be a butcher when I'm beaten. Anyone home? Begun! Or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly! Striga! Come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much. Lay down. Morning. Morning. Slowly now, let's take my Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. But better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a meat or raise his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Yeah. Twas Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. I don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. A pawn said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Sort of 
plume of smoke rising over the city. I thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burning another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer mm. dragged something had dragged something across the floor. Statues. One more dragged it from one corpse. corpse. The other. Repeatedly. Bloodstains. That's where Phoebean lay when they found him. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Thank you. 